just about to the water hole. Looks like there's a giant buck laying out there. Could be a mirage. I mean, it's definitely a, a buck. Just its size could be miraging in the heat. So I just spooked about 20 does walking in here. I'm gonna sneak up around the corner. And they're just dust storming across this. Maybe they'll take him with them. Just need him to get out of sight. Because I want to get this blind set up before it gets too late. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot the stakes. I gotta run back. <laughs> Dang it. Of course, always something. Check my cameras, there's one covered in bird crap. The other one must have blown open because the wind or a bird picked it open or whatever, so I don't know what kind of pictures I got. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Giant fork and horn. And the matched set right there. Dude, that is a big three by two. Today's just a scouting day. I'm just gonna get up to the top of these rims, get a high vantage, and just look over the valley, use the spotting scope, and maybe look for bucks that I haven't seen, as well as waters that I didn't know about. There was a couple good bucks that I would shoot coming into where I set up my blind. One of them had like an interesting throat patch, so that's gonna be the one that I'm looking for. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited for tomorrow. It should be pretty good. The setup looks good. When I was a kid, my dad used to say, Don't let anything stand in your way. Stand tall, think clear. Don't let them see you ain't fear. <laughs> oh. It's cool. So cool being able to come out here and just park wherever and throw out a table and make camp. Uh, sometimes I sleep in the back of my truck when it's really rocky, like here there's just rocks everywhere. So it's just easier to just sleep in the bed of the truck and I'll probably just leave the truck parked where it is and won't drive it again until I leave because it's about a mile and a half to where I'm gonna hunt. And so that's perfect. I can just walk in there unnoticed and then I can scout around from here. There's a good rim back behind me, so. Um, it'd be pretty cool.
not gonna lie, that was super exciting. <laughs> I was shaking, I was like, I was a little nervous there. It's just like all of a sudden I look up and bam, there's the buck that I want. First one that comes in, it's like, holy cow. The other ones ran in and got some water and kind of messed everything up. So it could be a long day now, but I think he's gonna come back in. Now, whether he'll give me a shot or not, I won't know. He might not come in as close again today. Or get, that's the trouble, is going to be getting a clear shot. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. It was so close. How can you have something 30 yards away and not get a shot off? Wow. For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it. Not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't going to be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite. Went through the whole list and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. as stealthy as that buck came in. There's no telling when I've had this side down what could have came in and drank and left without me noticing. I mean, I just looked up and he was right there. Oh, man. Such a mentally taxing game sitting here all day. It's like I want to be doing something, but I think this is my best option. If you know me or watch solo hunters or know what I'm about. Sitting is not my forte. And it's just that I'm bad at it. It's not because it's easy. It's actually the exact opposite. It's, it's harder for me to sit and shoot something. <sighs> Dang it. It's just a mental game. Like, giving me headaches. <laughs> picking up. It took about an hour for this doe and fawn to actually come water. I don't think they like the shaking of the blind. I'm hoping that that group with the big buck doesn't come back until a little bit later. It's getting hot in this thing. Got my little cooler and I'm just dipping this in the ice. Planned ahead because I knew it was going to get cooking in this thing. And unfortunately the wind, like I can get the cross breeze, but it's blowing the direction the antelope are probably going to come from, so. So, just, uh, stay cool. Take a peek out here. The breeze does feel nice, though.
steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat. Dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum.
For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, vinyl harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. So cool. All the antelope were just bedded right out in front of the blind this morning, and I just gotta watch them all come in. A bunch of does watered first, and he was drinking, and he was just drinking so long and so steady. I decided I'm gonna put it just above his shoulder because I could see where his shoulder blade was. I put it just off his shoulder on his neck, aiming for what would be his heart. It was a perfect shot. He ran. 10 yards and piled up was dead instantly. It was a perfect shot. Whew. That's what you want. That's why you practice so much. Just a quick, clean kill. Wow. He's an awesome looking buck. So excited. Wow. It's actually a little bigger than I thought. Okay, that's a great looking buck. Holy cow. Wow, nice. Beautiful looking buck. Got a, I don't think you can get a prettier buck. Man, they're just such a cool animal. There's nothing that really looks like them. And they're just so unique. They shed their horns, which is one of the only animals that does that. And then they just live in terrain that other animals don't live in and they use their really good eyesight to spot for danger and essentially live out in the open. And then there's just so fast, they're the second fastest land mammal and the fastest non-predatory land mammal. So pronghorns are just such a unique animal. It's like one of the things that's very iconic of Nevada and this desert country. To have the opportunity to hunt these is just pretty incredible. God, they're cool looking. It was awesome morning. I couldn't have, couldn't have had a better morning. I saw pretty much all the antelope, and then the two biggest bucks were together, him and then that big bodied one. And I think the other buck was actually, would score more as far as horn growth and just a little more mass, a little longer. But this one just had a cool look and like this cool throat patch. I've never seen this strange pattern on an antelope. They're normally pretty, uniform so he's just an incredible animal just beautiful if i could only fly i would fly so high i would kiss the sky it'd be so so All right, first trip out. I got the whole antelope and some of my gear. And then the second trip, I'm gonna get the blind and the rest of the gear. Uh, not too bad making it in two trips. <sighs> so cool. <sighs> Such a good hunt. 